Okay. Uh, so then let's discuss the question number 35, 2018 paper. So what is the value of the following Python expression? What is the value of following Python expression? So they have given an expression. Actually, this is to check whether you can remember the operator precedence. Operator step but amadi eva kohamadi priyatma kweni mukad deki priority ek brackets first brackets will be given the first priority bracket says five into two five into two means five to the power two five into five sorry five to the power two is five to the five five into five five into five is twenty five then the modular division so then the floor division and the, this is actually a bitwise operation. So, which is given the first priority, bitwise operation or flow division? So, you know that. Netuli, which is given the first priority? Is it a bitwise operation or is it a flow division? Which one, or will, uh, which one is given the priority? Flow division. Okay, let's assume the flow division is given the priority then 25. 25 divided by uh, 3. Actually, flow division means taking the flow value. 25 divided by 3 means 8. So the flow division value will be 8. 8 uh, and then x04. So 8 you can write as uh, because uh, flow division means you find the flow value. That's why I said it's 8. 25 divided by 3 can 24. Sorry, 25. So that 8, then 8 capital Yana Pula one zero 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 one then four capital Yana four equal zero one zero zero. Then we have to XO this. XO gate taking a one. So when you XO this, so let's write the values. When you XO zero zero, it is zero. We learn logic gate. Zero zero it is zero. 0, 1, uh, odd, odd number of ones, therefore it's 1. 1, 0, odd number of ones, therefore it's 1. So answer will be 1, 1, double, 0. 1, 1, double, 0 means, let's translate that to the decimal. So 12 is the answer. Yes, flow division is given the priority and 12 is the answer. Okay. So likewise, you should remember which is given the priority, right? So this is called operator precedence. If you don't know, let me show that. You can take a screenshot of that quickly without wasting much time. Python operator precedence. Pramukatave. So one begudari. Let's take a screenshot of this footage. So this is how the operator precedence is there. We hope you can see this. Let me reduce the size. And this is how the Python operator precedence is considered. You can see flow division is having high priority and XO operation is having low priority. That's why flow division will happen first. Please take a screenshot of this part. Okay. Right, let's move to the next question now. Question number 36 to 38. Find the answer uh, question number 36 to 38. I'll discuss them after that. 36 to 38. Right. Uh, consider the following statements. District defragmentation makes the makes the files that are fragmented in a disk. A contiguous. So defragmentation, yes, that is true. 
So defragmentation means, let's uh, annotate, let me annotate. Okay, you have a disk like this, this is your hard disk. And so in hard disk, you have uh, actually this, these are called, you have tracks. So different, different tracks. And also the sectors, hard disk is divided to tracks and sectors. Let me write, draw it in different colors. So these, uh, then let's divide it to this way. This is how hard disk is after partitioning. This is how hard disk looks like after partitioning and formatting. It will be divided to sectors. But these sectors are not physically visible. So this is how logically hard disk store the things. So one of this is called, these are called sectors. 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 And so then the, the circles are called tracks. The circles, so this, uh, I'll draw this in the yellow color. So this cir circular one, the colors, these things, basically these are called tracks. Tracks. So you have tracks and sectors. When files are stored in this hard disk, so there's a mechanism. The first thing is when a file is stored there, so it stores like this. Actually, uh, let's say this is a single file. I'm going to draw this in a purple color. The file can be saved continuously like this. Then that is called contiguous allocation. Contiguous allocation. That means continuously the file will be there. And some files are saved in the fragmented way. That means part of the file here, part of the file here. So part of the file is here, like with several locations. So file, the file will be divided to several components, parts, and saved in different locations. That is called fragmented file. Defragmentation, in defragmentation process, what will happen? So these fragmented files will be converted to the contiguous files. So that means you can allocate adjacent memory cells to save these files continuously. So that is the defragmentation process. The advantage is something like this. Let's say, let's assume uh, you uh, step into a bus where people are sitting in a different locations here and there. It's very easy to find a new seat. Right? That is the advantage. Defragmentation will make your disk faster and optimized. It will make your disk faster and optimized. Okay, then strapping is a memory management technique where the main memory contain, which were not recently used are copied into the disk, make the main memory available for other processes. Yes, swapping, swapping and paging. Swapping and paging basically. So similar to what we do here. So, the, so there are like, so let's say there's a movie in hard disk. This movie is first divided into some subsections. These subsections are called pages. Me movie ka isalama me man that no movie ka uh the movie ka size ka 4 GB kela. Ape RAM ka 2 GB. Ape 2 GB RAM ka 4 GB movie ka balan pulua. Hey to tama me movie ka kotas kotas. Me with it a bedala dama gun. May 4 GB it will divide this to manageable pieces called pages. These pages will be stored in the page pool. Or pages will be there in the virtual memory. Then when you need 
the physical memory will take part of this that is a page when this is required the physical memory or the random access memory will take pages not everything only some pages the most required pages will be taken in so that is called swap in you take the required pages that is called swap in swap in into the memory actually the virtual memory is there in the virtual memory is there in uh, the hard disk so here in the bottom you can see the hard disk and there's another movie maybe uh, maybe this is let's say this is word ms word or some other application this is application this application will also have pages application again pages there main memory ka karanne make no tamanta avashya pages e vilave weda karanna ona pages tika make no ganna so there is what swap in swap in kala ganna avashya tika the most demanded required pages will be swapped in right and actually so after some time after the memory allocation so what will happen so let's say another, another new program comes then this can be swap out back to the let's say so you don't need word you are not working with word this time so it can be it can be swap out back to the hard disk and so make room for the new program new ek alut ekata ida tiya ganna meka swap out karanna puluwan my hard disk go to the virtual memory okay that is the swap in swap out process so here the question b asking about the swap in swap out processors so that is also true and uh, so, so the part c a file allocation table is a table that operating system maintain which provide the map of the clusters that files has been stored in. yes file allocation table is basically it have it has the map of this file where are this which uh, platter which cylinder this file is there in which track likewise all these details are kept in the file allocation table so all three are correct here so if you cannot understand anything please ask right i try to explain my level best because this is a revision class i assume that you already know that but in case if you cannot remember just remember in the things okay still i didn't get answers netuli uh, i hope you are doing right the answer for this one is all apc true which the of the following will a device controller that controls a device deal with the operating system true which of the following will with a device controller that controls a device will deal with the operating system actually they are asking so in simple they are asking the operating system actually works with the particular software to deal with the new device so what is that device so if a new device come the operating system use device driver right if a new device come operating system use something called device driver to manage and communicate with it alu hard drive ka maybe printer ka scanner ka copy install kara bi drive ka tikka tama me computer ka weda kara so that is four consider the following statement relevant to the trends in modern information technology in traditional computing in traditional computing data is encoded into binary digits while the quantum computing data is represented in the qubits or quantum bits that is true so what is the difference between this quantum uh, computing qubits and the binaries so what is the difference between the quantum quantum computing qubits and the binary bits yes any idea quantum computing wala thiyena qubits hui binary wala thiyena bits wala hi wenasa thiyenawada mokadde wenas thiyenawana any idea about this or no idea danina kon danina kyan din i can teach you qubits and this one any any idea don't know okay some i explain yes okay samane normally then binary bit dekak thiyena no status hatarak thiya ganna puluwan 0 0 is one state 0 1 is one state 1 0 is one state and 1 1 is another state this is how a traditional computer work so it can switch between these four states so let's say there are two bits it's possible to switch between four stages but there's a limitation of 
the traditional computer it can only keep one instant at a time eka velawakata ekai eka velawakata eka ekko zero zero wenna pulu aaya balanoda zero one wenna pulu thawa velawak balanoda one zero wenna pulu thawa velawak balanoda one one wenna pulu me thama traditional but quantum computing if you have qubits qubits dekak thiyenawa nan ara wageema combinations thiyenna puluwan 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 but the speciality is all four levels are exist in similar same type all four combinations in quantum or in qubits all four states are maintained simultaneously all four states are maintained simultaneously ek para me states hatarama diya but here the general bits traditional computer will have will get only one of these making a kai the n ek para traditional computer will get only one of these but the quantum computer will have all of the representation same time therefore it can represent many things this super fast because this need to shift switch මෙය හතර පාරක් ස්විච් වෙන්න ඕන මේ ස්ටේටස් හතර. අපි මෙයාට එක පාරම ඔක්කොම හතරම පෙන්වන්න පුළුවන්. මේ වගේ මල්ටිපලි මේ වගේ ගොඩාක්. ඒ කියන්නේ හතරක් විතරක් නෙමෙයි මේ බිට් සාමාන්‍යයෙන් 32ක් විතර අරගෙන ඒ 32කට අදාළව ස්ටේටස් තියෙනවනේ දෙකේ 32 දෙවෙනි බලයක්. බිට් 10ක් ගත්තොත් 1024ක්. බිට් 20ක් ගත්තොත් 1 මිලියන් වගේ තියෙන ස්ටේටස්. ඒ 1 මිලියන් ස්ටේටස් කියුබිට් 20ක් අරගෙන එක පාර මතක තියාගන්න පුළුවන්. So think that the make it මේකේ 1 මිලියන් ටයිම් මාරු වෙන්න ඕන. ස්ටේටස් අතර 1 මිලියන් ටයිම්ස් මාරු වෙන්න. හැබැයි මේකේ ආ 1 මිලියන් ඒක එක තප්පරයක්. මෙයාට එක 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 ස්ටේටස් එකකට එක තප්පරයක් යනවා නම් මේ ස්ටේටස් මිලියනයට තප්පර මිලියනයක්. හැබැයි මෙයා එක තප්පරේදී ඒ ස්ටේටස් මිලියනේම තියාගන්න. That is the speciality of quantum computer. If you if you don't know so this is the Speciality, right? Qubit can represent all the combinations same time, but traditional bits can represent one combination at a time. That is the speciality. A wearable device capable of activity tracking that measures data as the number of steps walk and the heart rate is an example for sensor network. Is it a sensor network or smart device? It's typically it's a smart device right typically it's a smart device not a sensor network then a collection of nodes capable of environment to sense in local computation and computation with peers or with higher performance nodes called geographic information system a collection of nodes capable of environment to sense in Okay. it can sense the environment local computations and it can compute the things so it's like again smart device communication with the peers yes smart or iot internet of things and with higher performance is called geographic you know no, it's it's smart computing it is smart computing or iot or internet of everything so that is the thing and here also the wearable computer that is not sensor network it is called smart device this is smart computing or internet of things or internet of everything so only a is correct therefore i can take the answer as for 38 answer one is the correct answer for 38 because other two are wrong okay now you are struggling right this 2018 paper is not easy it's quite difficult right you can understand now but uh, don't worry so you are not getting that much of difficult paper now but it is because now new papers are easier than this but this paper was quite difficult okay uh, let's quickly answer the 39 40 and 41 let's quickly answer the 39 40 and 41 i give you only 5 minutes 
please try to answer within five minutes. No, I'll give three minutes. Sorry, I'll give three minutes. Try to answer within three minutes. Consider the following statement regarding databases. For each attribute uh, of a relation, there is a number of permitted values called domain of the attribute. That is correct. For each attribute, there's a set of allowed values or the permitted values that is called uh, the domain of that attribute. That is correct. And then the tuples are, tuples of the relations are always sorted. No, no need to be sorted. So that can be sorted or cannot be sorted. So database schema shows the organization of data as a blueprint. Yes, blueprint means a template of uh, how database is constructed. That is correct. That is simple question. So A and C are the answers. So A and C. Yes, uh, number three is the you know, answer. Number three is the answer for that. Consider the following relational schema cons uh, consisting text files in answering questions. Students, students is the table name, admission number, surname with initials, house number, and all these things are there. Assume, assume that the given uh, postal town is only one postal code exists. Assume that a given postal town, postal town, only one postal code exists. Consider the following. Students' relation is not normalized. Um, we cannot say like that because it seems normalized, but only thing it is it has a partial dependency. Partial dependency means so postal code and postal town, postal code and postal town. Postal town is actually depending on postal code, and postal code is also depending on postal town, which is non key, non key because admission number is the primary key. So here, this is not a primary key, but it is dependent on some other key. Eva gave a so normally you have this two. Those are called partial dependencies. So that's partial dependency. That is uh, just a hint. So don't take that seriously, but we, we have to actually, so there should be one primary key actually that everyone should depend on the particular primary key. That's why we call Ruha Mooleki. Uh, so it basically depends on one key, but if uh, some other keys are depending on other keys, that is called partial dependency. That is a violation of three NF, third normalized form. The students in the relationship in the first normalization form only. No, it's not first normalization form only. It can be there in the second normalization also. Because this is violating the partial dependence is violating third normalization form. No. Partial dependency can key ekak no one akin ek key ekak no one akin ek mataranda pauti. Ekin three nf tama violate. Two nf neve. In the one nf only can be two nf in the pulu. In normalization, student relation in the second normalization from uh, form and hence also in the first normalization, that is true. That is true. C is true. C is true. C is the only truth case. Oh, it's not given. 40. What should we do? Okay, let's let's search for the marking scheme. 2018 paper. ICT A level marking scheme. Now we need the support of marking scheme. Mm -mm -mm. What has happened to that question? Something wrong. Okay. 2018, question number 40, right? Question number 40. Uh, they have you not. Yes, that is the issue, right? Only C is the correct one, but it is not there. So they have given all for this. But answer is three. 
you will get marks don't worry because no answer is there so c only right a c dekama ganna bane not normalize we make i dekama ganna bane inda c thiyena ekak uttarayak irida therwoth mokak hari karawanne you will get marks question number 41 which of the following is paired as the output of the query select all from the student where postal code equal to and house number equal to a postal code of all records no uh, postal code and house number records have in the postal code this and house number yes that is true uh so 1241 the answer is 2 uh, uh, uh let's let's say but uh, it's not just postal code and the house number it's getting all the records right so we have a modification there all the records all the fields are having yes postal code this yes fourth one is the answer all the record because select all the, all the records all the fields of the records have in postal code this one and house number this one. So four is the answer for this. Okay, the remaining question I'll discuss next day. I'll stop from here. So we will finish this and start two thousand seventeen. That is our last paper for MCQ. After that, we are moving for the structured and essays. Then good night. See you all next week. Good night, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye.